Vicki Cowgirls. Introducing your host, Becky Christensen, and co-host Vicki Christensen O'Shields. Presented to you by Void Gaming. Hey, let's ride. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is noon, so I hope everyone's having a great afternoon. I have to remember to talk because sometimes you can't hear me up here. Uh, welcome to the show. We are uh, on our final two uh, days here at Mandalay Bay, and we want to say thank you to Group W for bringing us back for year number three. Uh, this is my beautiful co-host, my aunt, Vicki Christensen O'Shields. How thank you holding you, up? Becky. Hey, I'm holding up great. <laughs> Becky is the bride-to-be come tomorrow afternoon. So anyway, we're going to talk more about that, but <laughs> she's maintaining. It's good I'm to see you all. So well, we're really excited about the show today. We've had some great guests. Yesterday was a great show. If you haven't seen any of our shows, you can catch our videos that we reposted on Facebook, uh, She's Gone Country. Our show airs every Monday night on 4 Radio at 6 o'clock, and we are all about the stories behind the stories, bridging the gap in the generations, just to keep the heart of the American cowboy and cowgirl alive. And we could not do that without our, all of our great sponsors. So I want to touch on that right now. Our first sponsor we want to uh, introduce is our uh, gaming, Boyd Gaming, our presenting sponsor. Absolutely. Boyd, Boyd Gaming and the Orleans Hotel and Casino. I mean, they stepped right up, welcomed us to their family. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you, Boyd Gaming. Yep. Once again, it's all about roots and family. And also, Boyd Gaming, you know, they're doing the cinch uh, shootout today, tomorrow, and what's today? Today's Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 8th, 9th, and 10th. She's not <laughs> nervous. <laughs> um, and we have two tickets, a voucher for two tickets to give away to the event, uh, your night, your pick. So if you're sticking around here and you're going to be here any of those three days, hang on till the end of the show and we'll uh, be giving that out. And another great thing is if you are following it, and I, I told them I would touch on this, you can download the Boyd Gaming app on your phone. You see my little Boyd Gaming app? Hit the little button. Well, just because I'm so technically advanced. Um, that she is. Well, I'm more than, I'm more than Aunt Vicky. We'll, we'll that say that. she is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you go down here at the bottom, you can see you can buy your tickets. You can see your event competitors, social hub, the shootout, all these fun things, rodeo highlights. You just press on that. It's just really interactive. So check that out. You can keep up to date. They're going to have some great, great world champions competing over there. So make sure you, if you're in the area, you get over to that rodeo. It's at 2 o'clock right. every day. And that is right at the Orleans yeah. Hotel, the arena right there. And then we also want to say thank you to American Hat, who dresses all of us. And our, we don't have our hats on today, but anywhere you go and you see that American flag, that's American Hats. And we will be giving away one 40X felt hat before the show's over on Saturday. We're not sure when we're doing it, so stick around, and you might uh, win yourself a nice 40X hat. want to say thank you to Trace Rios. Of course, our family supports us Trace in everything Rios that we Silver. do. Thank you, Brett, Keely, and Pecos. Yes. I uh, haven't got to see them but for five minutes, but, you know, <laughs> they're busy working. Rodeo Spot Marketing and 4 Radio. So thank you so much for everything. Now, without further ado, we are going to talk all about the world of gather, world of gather, I can't even talk, world of rodeo gathering. gathering. Gold card <laughs> reunion. We got it. And I'm going to play the, the crazy uh, nervous bride, and I'm going to let Aunt Vicky do all the introductions, and I'm going to sit like you and enjoy the stories behind the stories. <laughs> uh, thank you, Becky. We are blessed with some great guests this afternoon. We want to bring them on right now and from the world of rodeo gathering and the gold card reunion. We have Mr. Uh, <laughs> Brent, Brent Jordan. Jordan. Good hand for Brent Jordan. <laughs> we usually have Larry, but Larry is so busy with all the... And of course, Larry is... Yeah. Brent's dad. So that's what I almost introduced you as, is Larry. So and we're the kid. We're, we're we're gonna be the kids up here. Right. Yeah, me and you. And we have Marvin Joyce. Marvin's a past uh, national finals rodeo average winner from Great Falls, Montana. Colleen Henderson, Nevada, his winner home. And all the way from Canada, we have Ivan Danes, Canadian rodeo champion, uh, songwriter, singer, actor, and he has some great rodeo stories to share. And a very special guest, because this man right here, Jerry Gustafson, is a rodeo photographer extraordinaire. And he's brought his book and collections of rodeo photographs from the 70s and 80s. And what I want to touch on before we get into this interview, and I know Brent can attest to this, is... Uh, last year was my first year that I got to go to the reunion, and it was so amazing. Um, first of all, they, they had up on the screen the first NFR, and uh, Grandpa was there. Grandpa was there. He was picking up Bronx, and that was a little moving. 
Yeah, to have that, and then dad was there. And so to walk in that room and see so many gold buckles and so much history, I, I'm a history buff when it comes to rodeo. I, it's, I grew up around it, I was a little kid running around, so these guys are all legends to me. And that was the most amazing part for me is walking into that room and seeing all those gold buckles and all those hats, knowing there's so many stories. Uh. Yeah, 1959 in Afar, Dallas, Texas. Um, you know, for me, you know, of course, as an announcer, I'm sitting there watching that, and you got uh, Pete Logan and Cy Italian announcing that rodeo, and had their suits on, and you know, announcing, and and of course, both from Montana. So I love that. <laughs> that was, you know, I love that. But no, that room, you walk in there, and it's like walking into a living history party. Yes. Because the people in that room, from the stock contractors to contestants to contract personnel, um, if, if that room were to just disappear from the earth, rodeo would disappear. The history of rodeo would disappear. The history. Yeah, the history. And, and we're going to do it again this year. And uh, this year it's at the Orleans. It's tomorrow. It's in the main um, ballroom there. Uh, registration starts at 9 a.m., 9 to 11. From 11 to 12, we're going to have our banquet and recognize people. We're going to recognize a couple great college programs, Montana State University and Cal Poly. Mm. Yeah, two of the, you know, prolific Premier. collegiate rodeo programs. We're going to honor them. We're going to honor 65, 70 of the Foundation Rodeo families. Of course, Christensen's a big part of that, one of the pillars of rodeo. There'll be many more. Um, it is a lot of fun. And, it, it's, and, and what we wanted to do, and I'll just touch on this, is we want, you know, the NFR, is such a massive event now. And you got 20 hotels that are hosting events. You got the different cowboy Christmases spread out all over the rodeo. And we wanted to give everybody in the world of rodeo one place to go. The final Friday at the Orleans from here on out, if you want to get together and see some people, that's where you can be. Because we're going to try to concentrate everybody there. Big visit. It's a big visit. It's the big <laughs> visit. And that's what your dad build is, build it as. And you know what, Brent? Was it 2008 when there was the 50th? 50th NFR reunion, and that was also held at the Orleans Hotel back then. So yeah, we had, it in the, we had it in the big arena. We did, that's yeah. right, I forgot We got a little about excited, that. we had 1,000 people and that seat's six or 7,000, but it was still a lot of fun and, yeah. and took one of the biggest uh, rodeo pictures of all time in the grandstands, mm -hmm. and we're gonna try to top that tomorrow. Uh -huh. After the wedding tomorrow, she's gonna have the world's biggest wedding picture. <laughs> And she's, and she's going to have all the legends of rodeo in this picture, and it is going to be so cool. And so we're going to have six, 700 people in this wedding picture tomorrow, and uh, so it's going to be awesome. Oh, it's loads of fun. You know, we just, we can't wait, and uh, it's just, you know, I'll be probably walking around with tears going down my face. But anyway, that's to be expected along with, you know, Becky's mom and the entire family. I have my whole family here, pretty much. <laughs> so can we get a round of applause for that? Because that doesn't happen that's very awesome. often. Not very often. Hey. I, I just want to say this, you know, the, the Christensen family and then, of course, uh, you know, the Mapstons, you know, they're, they're one of the blue chip foundation families in Montana. So, you know, it's, 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 you got two royal families merging tomorrow and it's really going to be awesome. <laughs> See what yeah. you're doing? Yeah. See? I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> well, you know, and remember too, you know, Brent said it's pre-registration tomorrow starting at nine o'clock but there's tickets available at the door and so you don't have to worry about you know having already bought a ticket just show up and uh it's going to be a great silent auction like you know so many good things yeah going we got on. some great things i mean we're, we're auctioning off uh, some great navajo rugs and the I even seen a bear trap in there. I mean, it's Western stuff, but it's really <laughs> cool stuff. And it all goes back so we can do it again next year. So Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds great. Well, you know, Brent, why don't you talk a little bit about who you brought with you today, if you would. Marvin Joyce, uh, 1972 National Finals Rodeo, uh, average winner in the saddle bronc riding. Yeah? Uh, yeah, right here, Marvin Joyce. Legendary photographer, Mr. Gustafson, right here, right? Ivan Danes, 76 average winner, saddle bronc riding. 70. No partiality saddle bronc riders. But Canadian world champion, national champion. But here's Anne, prolific singer songwriter in country music. Yeah. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, you know, I, I want to say something. Everybody. Real, I want to say something real quick about these bronc riders. When I was growing up, when I was a little boy, all my heroes were bronc riders. We're talking from the 60s and 70s. Of course, my dad, Great Marvin Joyce, and Ivan Danes, and Bobby Brown, and Sean Davis, and Witch Holman, and Larry Mahan. 
And oh, I'll throw one at you, Daryl Kong. Yeah. Daryl yes. Kong. That, that's going to wait. Australian cowboy. All these bronc riders were my heroes, and I looked up to them, and they still are. Not taking anything away from the bronc riders of the modern era. They're awesome. And these kids we got now, the rights, and it's just fantastic. But these guys were my heroes. And so I grew up listening to the stories, and, and hopefully today we can get some of those stories out of these guys, right? <laughs> oh, I hope so, Brent. And you know, Becky, you know, what Becky and I talk about a lot are the roots and the family ties and the stories behind the stories. Because if we ever lose our history, we, we have no foundation to stand on. So, um, and one of the things I want to touch on before, because I know we have a special a uh, little special something for our audience. But I want to touch real quick with Jerry because although we talk about the roots, Jerry captures it in he pictures. Does. And he was, in my mind, the only photographer when I was growing up. I mean, his name is synonymous. So I see a photo, I think of Jerry. So tell us about what you've uh, been collaborating on, what you have in your hand there. Well, I have a copy of my first book. And Flip let that me over. hold the microphone up to the book so people listening at home can no, see no. it. <laughs> Oh, there you, there go. you go. Well, I mean, you know, many a cowboy's hung upside down know. like that, Jerry. The good so. thing is we're on radio, so they don't know. Well, actually, we're on Facebook, so we want to make oh, sure okay. we can live see it. Live streaming, live streaming. <laughs> Hi, everybody. The, uh, this book covers from 1970 to 76, and it encompasses all events of rodeo, the timed events, barrel racing. And I just finished putting together my second book, which will be from uh, covering from 1982 to 1988, we just kicked off a Kickstarter campaign to raise the funds so we can afford to get the book published. Awesome. And I wanted to say something about these two bronc riders is the bronc riders from their day didn't just spur a horse. They spurred them high in the mane, and those feet were like that. <laughs> classy, Thank you. classy Thank riders. You. That's what I love the We appreciate the comment. Sometimes. <laughs> There was oh, days you by did. the way, I'm sorry. This I brought this for you, but I'm so cheap, the two of you are going to have to share. Well, you know. <laughs> oh, great. We're, we're really close, and we can definitely do that. But I bet you we pick up another yeah, copy. Yeah, we're going to have to get Absolutely. another copy. Thank you so much. This is a beautiful uh, coffee table book. You'll want to leave it out. Uh, so when you have friends over that, they too can go back and see some of this, these great wow. cowboys and the great stock. Absolutely, the great stock. And so, wow. Marvin... Talk to us. Tell us a story. You and Ivan, let, let's get some, you know. Well, let's hear the dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I was just sitting here and, and, and sitting with you guys. Chris said that I, and actually. Uh, you got to hold that mic got, up so they got, can got, hear you. I got uh, I got thinking about the Christians a little bit. And a good friend of mine and Ivan's and everything is a uh, guy by the name of Bill Nelson. He won World in the Mobile Ride. And he and I traveled together quite a little bit. And I think it was either Clovers or Woodland. I think it was Woodland we were at eating breakfast. And Henry Christensen walks up and buys our breakfast. Now, somebody, you know, when Henry bought your breakfast, there was something going to be tied to it. And you just didn't know <laughs> Especially what. Especially if Uncle Henry did it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying right there. And Bill, he just, Henry was the greatest person in the world. Bill, and, and all of a sudden, Henry sat there and he says, you know, God, would you come out and, and just get on a, cup, a cult for us? And I looked at Bill and I said, ah, Bronx for breakfast and then Colts on top of it. It isn't going to happen. Well, we wound up out there anyhow, <laughs> as always. And it's about 7.30 in the morning and they buck about four Colts, four or five horses. And we was watching these high school kids get on them. And then all of a sudden they had run this sorrel in this bay. And they, I mean, these four-year-olds are slick. So I said to Nelson, I says, okay, hey, look. Like front cinch, and we don't spare them out. Let's give these babies a little chance. Nelson gets on. I look out over the, sitting on the chute watching Bill go first. He's out there about third jump. He's trying to go down his rein to get back in that saddle, and this sorrel horse just beds, just beds him. And I'm just getting down, and I'm reaching down, getting two more inches of cinch right away. <laughs> <laughs> and Nelson, he's running right back straight to the chute, undoing my cinch, and he says, I, he says, I get through it off, so do you. <laughs> And uh, we did. Uh, both those Colts wound up in the NFR the next year. Oh. They, and they come from Christmas's great stud. <laughs> and Henry thought he was funnier. He thought it was great. And we did it for breakfast. And breakfast cost <laughs> at that time about 
a dollar eighty-five, two dollars, some right in that neighborhood. <laughs> well, what about the tip? You know the tip. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, I don't know who we were talking to this morning. Gray may have to. Oh, it was Winston Bruce's brother, and he was showing us. He was registering, and he was showing us a old article where he was placed in the standings and he won sixteen hundred dollars. He said he was still living on that. That sixteen hundred dollars. <laughs> yes. Dwayne. Dwayne Bruce, yeah, I was getting a kick because it's, I, know, I always say, boy, you guys got gypped on the money from between now and then, but you guys all did it for something, for different reasons. Yeah, you know what I think is, and of course, I was just a little one back then, but uh, I, I think the, the, the gentlemen, the bronc riders, the rodeo competitors of that era, they didn't make the money they're making now, but I, th I do think they had a lot more fun. Yeah, now, of course, you listen to all these stories, and, and they add 10 or 20 or 30 percent oh. to it. You, <laughs> But, that's, yeah, that's but they that's still had a lot more fun. Yeah. Well, you know, Embellishments. Brent, Brent had a unique perspective growing up because his dad, that we mentioned earlier, Larry Jordan, uh, accomplished NFR bronc rider. And I can remember when Brent used to hang out. I mean, you were a little guy. Yeah, because you're a lot younger than, well, you and Becky are the, the babies up here. <laughs> I tell you, the welcome I had to the world of rodeo is, uh, I think we're in Columbia Falls, Montana, and I'm behind the chutes with my dad, and I'm just, I don't know, one and a half or something, crawling around like a stink bug, and he's back there sitting in the saddle, warming it up, and, and uh, he turns his head, and next thing you know, I'm, I crawled out in the rodeo arena, during the rodeo, <laughs> you know, so immediately I wanted to, you know, have the spotlight on me, apparently, so I don't know. See, he was in the arena, and I was underneath the stands playing in the There dirt. you go, yeah. probably. Coke, Coke, Coke cups. And I was there, I've been there. <laughs>